trying to do it out of our lives. Amen. And we wonder, why is it, Lord, I don't have a desire? Mm. Why is it, Lord, that I'm not excited? Mm. Why is it, Lord, that this seems like I can't stay on course? You need to understand what he says about the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a ghost that we should be afraid of. That's right. Amen. It is the power yes. of God to keep us. It is the power of God to teach us. So whenever we find ourselves on and off and up and down, and in and out and wondering what's going on. Sometimes we're just lost in the fog. All you need to do is go before God and be honest with him. That's right. Amen. Lord, That's right. I'm coming to you Amen. in all honesty. Make a decision. Is this something that I want? Is it what I really want? I know I need it, but it, do I want it? Jesus. Oh, my. Do, I, do I want it? Do I want eternal life? Do I want it? I heard this, and I think I shared it maybe with, um, maybe I shared it with Sister Karen. I was riding down the road, and I heard this um, minister at ministry, and he said that there are people who do not believe that Jesus ever existed. And even some who said they're followers, they still have doubt. But this is what he said. He said that he talked to some historians that were not believers, that were not followers. But they have written history. And it is written in the history books that there was a man named Jesus who walked the earth. It has been recorded in history, not in the Bible, but in history. And in history, it tells of his life. So when we read the scripture, these are the apostles and the disciples taking up the Christian walk. But there were those who recorded Jesus. Amen. Before for the Bible gave the story and the life of him. So therefore, we have to be at a place where we make a decision. Decision. Oh, look around. Okay. I was sharing with someone too. America's in trouble. America is in trouble. God has blessed us and we live the easy life. Yes, amen. But there are those that are undercover, underground, who do not have the privilege to come and sit with lights and Jesus and air Jesus. and food. But they give their lives because they heard and they yes. believed what they heard. Mm -hmm. And they received it. Mm -hmm. So I say today is that if you hear and you hear the voice the word of the Lord. That's what it is. It's the word of the Lord. Take up your cross. Take up your cross and follow him. It's not something to fear because God gives you peace in that. Amen. There's a peace in it and, there, and it takes away the fear of death. And he takes away the fear of you not Oh, well, I, am I going to be able to do this? I, you know, I thought about our children. You know, if we expect our children to do certain things and live a certain way, they can't live it either without the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We shouldn't even expect it from them if we have not taught them or we're not teaching them. The power of the Holy Spirit in their lives to keep them. Yes. No, it's not hard. Your know, Christian life is not hard. If you've got a made up mind and a made up heart, it's not hard. It's not hard. Because you can have someone that you walk with and you talk to. And he talks back to you. Yes, yes. I used to read that and I wonder how in how in the world could anyone live that close to the Lord that they could hear him talk. It's not an audible voice, but you know that it's exactly. Mm -hmm. 
because it is according to his word. It's according to his word. And he's a keeper. Yes, he is. Lord knows he's a keeper. And he's somebody sweet. said it gets sweeter and sweeter every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. It gets sweeter and sweeter every day. You want to live? You want to really live? You want to really live? Make a decision. Lord, I'm going to go with you all the way. Every yes. step of the way. I'm going to lay down, pull off, get rid of, leave some folk. Come on now. Leave some folk behind got you. Got that's you. hindering me. Got okay. Come on now. I got a made up mind. Got a made up mind. And while I got this, I want to say thank you again for last week. You were such a blessing to me. And I appreciate it. I appreciate your gifts and your expressions of love. And, and, and I was blessed. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed by you being here today. Because you know what? I got made up my mind. Amen. I, my mind is made up. Okay? I made up my mind. God bless you again and thank you so very, very much for your gifts and expression, Lord. And Elder Tish ministry yesterday. Oh, do you ever hear yesterday? Raise your hand. Because I tell you, it was just wonderful. Yes. Yes. We were just blessed. I tell you what, Amen. it's been um, two times, I think, this month that we've had the women. All told, we've had probably about 30 or 40 women that have come through. And it's just been wonderful. The Lord is doing a work in this ministry and I praise and thank the Lord yes, for God bless you that you continue to become um, disciples for Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Wow.